The poet at the center of a controversy now, Neftali de Leon, says he is not ready to talk about why, after only four months, he's no longer the city's poet laureate. The Department of Arts and Culture terminated his three-year contract over his use of racial slurs in a poem that he wrote. So what does de Leon's predecessor as poet laureate think? Jesse de Goyado has her reaction. Four months ago, there was reason to celebrate. The city of San Antonio had made the always colorful and outspoken Neftali de Leon its newest poet laureate. I love you, Pueblo Mio. I love you. But then in late July, in a poem de Leon had posted on Facebook as a tribute to a late author and columnist, there were racial slurs in Spanish, which he said were meant as a term of endearment. Not hardly, said many of the Latinos who responded. But seeing that no African Americans had commented, well, let me be the first because I love him. De Leon's predecessor is poet laureate, Andrea Vocab Sanderson, who still remembers hearing the term growing up. After a basketball game by some young ladies who didn't appreciate the fact that they lost the game. Yet in response to Sanderson and others asking he apologize and edit his poem, De Leon said to police our language too closely is to stifle our spontaneity and to dampen our creativity. Yet Sanderson says what he wrote had a far different impact. A visceral and a gut reaction and for some people may have been triggering. De Leon acknowledged that to a degree by saying, I do make a blanket apology to anyone that may be offended. Still, Sanderson says, as a poet laureate, they have a responsibility. As ambassadors of the literary arts, we have to be above reproach with our, 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 our words. Right. They have power. In every context, our words have power. Jesse De Goyado, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.